Welcome to a tutorial of the OIC Options Calculator powered by iVolatility. The first thing you will do on the calculator is enter a symbol. Input any stock, index, or option symbol. If you do not know the symbol or the option, you can browse by company name, instrument, market, or exchange via the symbol lookup icon. Once you select a symbol, data will populate the table with the stock's price and the closest to expiring at the money options. In this example, for the symbol SPY, the last price of the stock was 456.7. The tool will model the 457 strike and populate the table with associated data for the nearest term expiration for this particular security. At any time, you can hover over any of the field labels and a description of the term will display for reference. Next, select whether to price the option as an American style or European style type option. American style are the majority of options traded in the United States, and this means that the option can be exercised at any time on or before expiration, for whatever reason the user wishes. European style means that the option can be exercised only on the last day of trading prior to expiration. From here, you can view time to expiry, implied volatility or IV, the interest rate, and dividend information. For this 457 strike, we have selected an option that is expiring tomorrow. So you can view minutes, hours, and days to expiration. You can modify the selected expiry at any time. Next, the interest rate defaults to the risk-free rate derived from last night's treasury market. Right now, it is roughly 5.33. Because we are looking at a nearer-term option in this example, Changing the rate is not going to make a significant difference, but if you look at a further dated option, it will make a bigger impact. You can modify this data at any time. The calculator will also factor in the nearest term dividends. In this case, September 15, 2023, and the dividend amount is $1.58. You can change this and see how the option values change if the dividend gets eliminated, if it gets increased, etc. This example defaults to quarterly, but the dividend frequency can be changed to annually, semi-annually, quarterly, or monthly, depending on the security. Now that you have modified all desired expiry, implied volatility, or IV, interest rate, and dividend information, we can look at the data on the right side of the table. For the selected expiration, this is the call value and put value the bid ask spread on both, and the option Greeks. Remember that the values you see here are all based on the implied volatility, interest rate, and dividend information that was entered to the left of the screen. You can modify this information at any time. The bid ask spread being modeled for this call is saying these calls are worth 72 cents, even though the bid ask is 81 cents. Next, you can go down to the option price box and type in 81 cents and hit enter. That tells us the implied volatility isn't 11.44 and is really closer to 12.44 for this call. If the put were trading for 81 cents, that would be a 5.94 vol. You can test this by going up to the IV field and changing the implied volatility, for example, to 12.44. And now you can see that the option value is similar to that of the bid ask. This is a helpful way to use the tool in modeling different option values. Thank you for joining us to learn more about the options calculator. If you want to learn more about terms and concepts covered, such as the expiration styles, implied volatility, interest rates, and how they impact your options position, visit our website, optionseducation.org. OIC offers options courses, webinars, podcasts, and additional video content that cover how the inputs of these parameters can change your options values.